G'day guys, do you have time for just one more story? Yeah, I reckon you do. This one is about a set of twins who want to do something special for their nana on her birthday. Baking a Cake for Nana by Jess Irvine Matteo and Marley shared everything with their nana. She was their mum's grandmother and one of their favourite people in the world. It was almost Nana's birthday and they were trying to decide what to do for her. Maybe we could make her a card, Matteo said, looking at the cardboard and glitter in their craft bin. We made one last year. We should do something different this year, Marley said. It should be something special. Something that Nana really loves. Mum, Matteo called into the kitchen. Yes, Mum shouted back. What's something you used to do with Nana back in the olden days when you were our age, Matteo asked. They heard their mum mutter something about not being that old, which made Matteo and Marley giggle. We used to bake cakes together, Mum called. Marley grabbed Matteo's arm. That's it. We'll bake a cake with Nana. It'll be something fun to do and she'll get a birthday cake when we're finished. So the twins grabbed their dad's tablet and started looking up cake recipes. What are you two grubs up to? Dad asked when he saw them studying the screen. We're looking for a cake recipe, Marley said. We want to go and make it with Nana for her birthday, Matteo said. That's a lovely thought, but we won't be able to go. Dad said with a sad smile on his face. The twins looked up at him quizzically. Why not? Matteo asked. Is Nana okay? Yes, mate, Nana is fine, Dad said. But the place she lives has stopped people from visiting at the moment. We can give her a call on her birthday, but we won't be able to bake a cake with her. The twins were very disappointed. They lay around on the living room floor for a little while, feeling grumpy and annoyed. Then suddenly, Marley sat straight up. Matteo, I have an idea, she said. If we can't go inside Nana's place, why don't we go talk to her through the window? We won't be able to make a cake, but at least we can still see her. Oh, Marley, we could make a cake, a proper mud cake, Matteo laughed. The twins raced off to tell their parents all about their plans. When they arrived at the care facility, Mum and Dad popped the twins over the fence. They had called ahead to get permission first. The twins ran along the garden path until they found the window that opened into Nana's room. Nana! Nana! they cried as they knocked on the window. We're here to make you a cake! Nana slowly walked over to the window and placed her hands on the glass. Matteo and Marley each put one of their hands onto the glass where Nana's hands were. Oh, hello, my little darlings. Did you say you're here to make me a cake? She said, smiling. Yup, Matteo grinned. Just tell us what we need and we'll make a cake right here in the garden. Marley grabbed the bits and pieces that Mum and Dad had carried down from the car. Oh, well, the first thing you will need is some flour, Nana said sounding a little confused about what was happening. Flowers? That's easy, said Marley, and she ran off to pick some of the daisies that lined the path. She returned and threw the little white flowers into the bowl. What's next? Uh, what kind of cake are we making? Nana asked apprehensively. It's a mud cake, Nana, said Matteo matter-of-factly. Nana laughed. Oh, Well, in that case, we will need lots of sugar next, she said. Matteo ran off to find something to use for the sugar, returning soon after with some little bits of gravel he found near the fish pond. Will this work? he asked, showing Nana through the window. Perfect, she said. Throw it in the bowl. Next thing you need is the cocoa powder. The twins ran off to find a suitable substance to use for cocoa powder. They found some black sand down the end of the garden and spent a good few minutes running back and forth filling up the bowl. Next came some water from the fish pond to use for milk 
and some moss that was growing on the rocks was perfect for the eggs. Now, you need to mix it all up so it's nice and combined, Nana said, as she sat down on a chair that one of the nurses had moved to the window for her, so she could watch her great-grandchildren baking their mud cake. OK, now what? Marley asked once she and Matteo had taken turns mixing the cake. Oh, now it's time for the most important ingredient of all, Nana said with a smile. Oh, what is it? The twins said together. Why, it's love, of course, Nana laughed. The twins grinned at her and they each blew a kiss into the cake mix. Now what? Matteo said. Well, now it needs to go into the oven to bake for 25 minutes, Nana said. Matteo looked around and saw a nice flat rock sitting in a particularly sunny part of the garden. He took the bowl over and sat it on top of the rock in the sun. While they waited for the cake to cook, the twins told Nana all about what they had been learning at school and about the camping trip they had gone on with their friends a few weekends ago. Nana told the twins some funny stories about things that had happened to their mum when they went camping when she was their age. OK, 25 minutes is up, called Dad. Marley and Matteo quickly went and grabbed the cake mix from the rock. OK, now you need to quickly turn the cake upside down on a plate and shimmy it slowly upwards to release the cake from the tin, Nana said. Matteo held the plate while Marley tipped the cake tin up onto it. Ready? One, two, three, Marley said as she quickly pulled the cake tin up. The mud cake stood quivering for several moments before it slowly started to fall apart. The twins started laughing at the state of their cake. Quick, put some candles on it before it's completely ruined, Matteo called to his mum. Mum poked a few candles in the mud cake and lit them. The family sang happy birthday to Nana. When she pretended to blow out the candles, the twins blew them out for her. Well, this was very lovely, Nana said, and gave a big yawn. OK, kiddos, I think it might be time to say goodbye. I think Nana needs a nap, Dad said. Nana put her hands up on the glass again and again the twins placed their hands on hers. Happy birthday, Nana, Matteo said. We hoped you liked the cake we baked for you, Marley said. Nana smiled at them. Oh, my little darlings, it was the most delicious cake I have ever had. Well, that sounds like a fabulous cake, even if maybe you couldn't actually eat it. Do you have any traditions like that in your house? In my house, my grandma always used to make our Christmas pudding. And even though she's not with us anymore, for a few years, my children got to make the Christmas pudding with their great-grandmother. Now, my dad makes the Christmas pudding for our family. Thanks so much for listening to this episode of Just One More Story. Remember to subscribe to the podcast so that you don't miss out on new episodes. If you enjoyed the podcast, I'd love to hear from you. Please leave a review and tell your friends. If you enjoyed this story, head to my website, www.dictionfairy.com.au for more. Until next time, remember, there's always time for just one more story.